I'm Howard Boone. I mostly do vintage motorcycles. Actually sent a set of engine cases off to Jonathan to have him vapor hone them for me and just got interested in the process, interested in the technology, and really interested in the company. But what I'm working on today, this is a Honda single overhead cam, four-cylinder carburetor. It's got your normal corrosion and stuff. What I like about the vapor honing cabinet and the carburetors, you can actually take the screws out of it, pull the springs out, pull the jets out, and you're able to blast through the little passageways where normally you'd have to dip them into a carburetor vat or you'd have to put them in an ultrasonic cleaner. And just like on this float bowl here, it's still got the gasket in it, not a problem. All the machine's gonna do is clean up that gasket. Let's just put it in the cabinet and blast it, man. What I'm gonna do too after this is I am gonna pull that gasket and we'll do down in the little groove where the gasket goes, but man, that was what, 15 seconds? I think we're done here except for the groove where the O-ring goes, man. That took actually probably less than 30 seconds. What I do want to do is pop this O-ring out of there. You can do the groove where the O-ring goes and the beauty of this versus regular media blasting is it's not going to distort the metal. You're not going to ruin that little delicate groove. And what you can do once you've got that O-ring uh, seal out of here, you can blast it and something normally that wouldn't be usable can be reused. All right, you guys saw that probably took me, what, 10 seconds? Uh, it did leave some of the adhesive and stuff. What I'm going to do is probably just pop it back in, hit it for another five seconds. Should get every bit of that off there. I have finished blasting it. Uh, what you do want to do after you're finished blasting is you always want to dip your part in water. Not so much this, but a, a carburetor body that has all the little passageways and stuff. I've said that you could blast through those. Not a problem doing that, but what you want to do is after you've dipped it, you do want to blow any media out of those passageways. So what you do, you just take compressed air, Especially on this float bowl, you've got your overflow tube. You want to make sure that's clear. And there you are. As good as new. Man, I like this machine.